Well, Shabbat Shalom. I want to welcome everyone to the Sabbath Day Conference Call. This is Barbara serving as your host today, along with Brother Pete as co-host. And we just want to welcome all our family and friends of Yah that are here today by the phone or Internet, or maybe you're listening to the YouTube recording. Uh, we want to invite everyone to go to our website, LunarSabbathDay.com. It's a great source of information about the Creator's calendar. Uh, lots of videos, lots of articles, and you can always scroll down to the events page and see when we're meeting for Sabbaths and New Moon Days. <clears throat> so today our topic is, when does a month begin? On New Moon Day or an illogically haphazard date on a calendar? Satan has changed every element of time. Every element of created time has been altered. When a year begins, he's changed it from spring to winter. When a month begins, from new moon to a logically haphazard day on a paper calendar. Week begins from, new, from moon phases to pagan named gods. When a day begins, from sunrise to midnight. The hours in the day have been changed from 12 to 24. The last week uh, we talked about uh, when a year begins in the winter or spring and we uh, studied out it is in the spring as it states in the Bible. So today our discussion is about when a month begins and it has been changed from New Moon Day to a just a illogically haphazard day on a Gregorian calendar. A biblical month in scripture, uh, the beginning of every month starts with New Moon Day, beginning on the first, followed by four complete sets of weeks, which end on the 8th, 15th, 22nd, and 29th days of the month. Each day begins with a New Moon Day on the Creator's calendar. Each week is indicated by the phases of the moon, as we see in this little graphic here. New moon, first quarter, which shows a half moon in the sky. The full moon marks a Sabbath. And the last quarter marks a Sabbath. And that last quarter is actually a half moon, would be seen early, early in the morning. New moon day does not ex exist in the modern papal or pagan calendar. Once this is understood, it's easy to grasp how time was originally calculated. The calendar of creation is based entirely on nature, from its years to months, from weeks to days. It's all based on movement of the celestial bodies. The word month was originally month and comes from the word moon. In ancient times, months were always based on the, mo on the movement of the month. Weeks, in turn, were divisions of the month, or lunation. The fact that the months and weeks of the biblical calendar are based on movement in nature creates the biggest difference between Yahweh's lunar solar calendar and the pagan papal solar calendar in use today. The Creator's calendar bases each month on the movement of the moon. Each month begins with the new moon. The week, being a division of the month, restarts its cycle every new moon. The Hebrew month is a lunar month, and the quarter of this period, one phase of the moon, appears to have, deter to have determined the week of seven days, and that from Encyclopedia, uh, Encyclopedia Biblica, 1899. This is the hardest point to comprehend when first beginning to study the calendar of creation. The modern solar calendar has a continuous weekly cycle while the calendar of creation does not. New moons 
are significant components of the biblical method of timekeeping since they are the point in time at which the weekly cycle restarts for that month. The phase new moon in scripture comes from the Hebrew word Kodesh. And we see over here uh, on the graphic for this, written in Hebrew, is Rosh Kodesh. And Rosh Kodesh actually means, well, it means new moon, but it also means head of Kodesh, or head of purity. And it indicates a head in Hebrew is an indicative of the start or the source, the beginning. And Kodesh means to be cured or emptied. And the moon each month is emptied of its light, ready to be filled with the new moon, with the, new, with, with the light of the new month. And it waits for it to be, to be built and then wane on the monthly cycle. The New Strong's exhaustive concordance for the Bible defines Kodesh as the new moon, by implication, a month. The New Strong's expanded dictionary of Bible words expounds on this, explaining, quote, Kodesh can refer to a month or the period from one new month, new moon, to another. In a related nuance, the word refers not so much to a measure of time as to a period of time or a calendar month, and that from New Strong's expanded dictionary of the Bible word of Bible words. So in scripture, new moon refers to the first day of the new month. Where in scripture, where scripture is silent, history can shed additional light. An early edition of the Universal Jewish Encyclopedia states that new moons were originally days for worship. Sabbath and new moon, Rosh Hashanah, both periodically recurring in the course of the year. Here's the quote from the Jewish Encyclopedia, page 410. The new moon is still, and the Sabbath originally was, dependent upon the lunar cycle. Both date back to the nomadic period of Israel. Originally, the new moon was celebrated in the same way as the Sabbath. Gradually, it became less important while the Sabbath became more and more a day of religion and humanity, of religious meditation and instruction, of peace and delight of the soul. The calendar of the Bible has 12 months, with new moon day beginning each month. When a month begins on a Gregorian calendar, it is divorced from anything in nature. And here is about the Roman calendar. The calendar of the Roman Republic was based on the lunar phases of the moon. It was replaced by the Julian solar-only calendar introduced by Julius Caesar in 46 BC. Julius Caesar appointed Sosthenes, an Alexandrian astronomer, to design and reform the Roman Republic calendar. They decided to abandon the lunar calendar altogether. The new Julian calendar ignored the new moon days and inst instituted a calendar that was solar only with the days of the week designated by the letters A through H as seen in this graphic here taking off of a, of a wall in Rome. So the Gregorian calendar that is in place today is a modification of the Julian calendar. In October 1582, it was corrected by many days and promoted by Pope Gregory the 13th. The Gregorian calendar is a solar only calendar. The new month begins illogically and haphazardly. The Gregorian calendar continued to employ the Julian months, which have Latin names and irregular numbers of days. And you can see the first day of the month just happens anywhere during the week. Nothing to do with the moon. Some of the, the Latin names and the dates, the days that are in each month, and they vary a lot from 28 to 31 days. January, 
31, February 28, March 31, all these days, and most of these are Latin names except for when you get to September, October, November, those are represent numbers. So most of us, when we were in school, had to memorize this little rhyme to remember how many days are in each month of the Gregorian calendar. Most people, uh, anyway, this is how it goes. Uh, 30 days have September, April, June, and November, and all the rest have 31. And uh, I guess I never learned the February part. We just knew February had 28 days. So the modern calendar has months ranging in length from 28 days to 31 days. The months are not tied to anything in nature. Consequently, the week cycles continuously and without interruption from one month to the next month, from one year to the next. The Gregorian calendar of today is a deceptive solar-only calendar. Although the weeks are seven days long, it is nowhere near the true calendar. The Creator's calendar in Scripture is always calculated by the sun, moon, and stars. So when does the month begin? The month begins on New Moon Day. And here's that quote again. The new moon is still in the Sabbath, originally was, dependent upon the lunar cycle. And here is a graphic of when new moon is, starting the beginning before there's any light built on the moon. So Satan has enforced the Roman Gregorian calendar on the world. Months begin without the moon. Months are named after false gods. Weeks are in a continuous cycle without the moon resetting the month. Remember Daniel 7.25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws. That is Daniel chapter 7 and verse 25. We will begin each month on New Moon Day in Heaven. This is what it says, Isaiah 66, 23. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith Jehovah. And he says, I am Jehovah, I change not, Malachi 3, 6. So don't forget to go to our website, LunarSabbathDay.com, to access materials directly related to today's topic and I just want to thank everyone for being here today and for listening so have a wonderful week